Good night everyone. We will continue from the last video which we had, which was small set of data. This one is statistics on group frequency table. Statistics on group frequency table. When do we use an on group frequency table? It is here. We use it whenever we have a large set of data. Can be why? Because we can better organize it in a table and we could follow it better. Right? So a large set of data. Doesn't necessarily have to be a large let's say 1000 and so on but 40 50 we consider it to be a large set of data the other one is that the range is small if the range is small then we could put it or we could organize it in us in our own group frequency table now what is the range yeah, you may know or you know from the previous video that it is the largest answer that was given to your question minus the smallest answer from your question right so if you ask yourself or you ask one of your friends what is your quiz grade and his grade was the largest answer let's say a nine and then another friend you ask another friend and he said a one and that was the smallest one so nine minus one gives you eight that is your range and you consider it to be very small now let's take a look at some examples or let's take a look at two three examples that we have down here 40 ages of students in kindergarten now you may know that the age range for students in kindergarten maybe three four five and then from there on might be six but from there on they move on to infant one or so on and then you notice that the range is very small because it starts from three and then it might finish maybe the the highest age you would get six so six minus three gives you three and then the range is very small right and then the number of students or ages that you would get would be 40 of them so that is what we say it's large here 55 quiz grades so you go on and you go asking what is your quiz grade what is your quiz grade what is your quiz grade some might tell you three some might tell you four some might tell you five ten and so on but if you take a look if you let's say someone tells you um, nine and the smallest or the lowest grade was a five nine minus five gives you four so your range is very small but the amount of numbers that you would have would be 55 numbers 125 answers of how many pets so how many pets do you have I have three pets how many pets do you have five pets and so on and so on and so on maybe the largest number of pet in a house would be let's say 10 but the smallest amount would be 0 so 10 minus 0 is 10 and then 10 is still doable so that is a small set of data example 1 for on group frequency table it says 38 students were asked their grade for a mathematics quiz so we're talking about a quiz 
I'll notice from the data collected that the quiz was a quiz from maybe zero to nine points, right? 38 of them, and then this is what we have, 38 grades. But our range is small because if you notice it's hence we can notice the data is big, 38 course and the range is small range largest number minus smallest number that's 9 minus 1 that gives me a 8 so that is small now how do we construct our table our table here says that how we get it it is what is our range our range was 8 so 8 plus 3 that tells us that there are going to be 11 rows by 6 columns 11 rows 8 plus 3 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 columns it is always 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 what goes in your first column first column is grade which is labeled as X so whatsoever you collect whatsoever was your question or you were collecting then that is your first column length of leaf length X what is your age? You collected age, X. If you say, um, what is your height? Then first column is height, and that would be X. So here, what is your grade? Your grade range from 1 to 9. So you insert here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The last row, some of them will be filled and some of them won't. In this case, this part here is not filled. Your second column is tally and then here you count the number of each grade. How many grade ones, how many grade two, how many grade three and so on and insert it in that column as sticks so how many grade ones one two three four of them four sticks how many grade twos one two three four of them inserted as sticks if you notice how many grade trees in is it is telling you here there are six of them how many grade fours are there there's four of them how many grade five that's six of them how many grade six that's five of them how many grade seven three how many grade eight three how many grade nine three and so on third column is frequency and that is F the number that corresponds with the tally quickly tally is 4 number 4 tally is 4 number 4 tally is 6 number 6 4 4 6 6 5 5 3 3 and so on this is the one where we would have to find what is the or fill out this row here and what goes in here it is the sum of all the numbers that you have under the frequency so 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 and so on and you get 38 notice that this here 38 corresponds to the number of the number here how many numbers you collected Your next column 
or the fourth column is frequency times grade which is fx and what we do here is we just multiply the numbers frequency times grade frequency 4 times 1 4 frequency 4 times 2 8 frequency 6 times 3 18 frequency 6 4 times 4 16 and so on and so on until you finish frequency 3 times 8 24 frequency 3 times 9 27 and again you will fill out this part here where it is the sum of effects which means add all numbers so that's 4 plus 4 plus 18 plus 16 and so on and so on and so on plus 24 plus 27 and you get 178 the next column is the cumulative frequency now what is the cumulative frequency it says add frequency up to that point up to grade 1 what is the frequency up to grade 1 the frequency is 4 so my cumulative frequency is 4 up to grade 2 up to grade 2 my frequency is 4 and 4 making it 8 up to grade 3 my frequency is 6 4 and 4 that's going to be 14 up to grade 4 add all of them that's 18 up to grade 5 add all of them that's 24 up to grade 6 add all of them that's 29 up to grade 7 add all of them 32 and so on until you reach the last one notice also that the last number within your cumulative frequency must correspond to the number of numbers that you collected how many numbers you collected right the last column is the place value and this one is very easy because you already have the last place value for each one of it notice that it is 4 8 14 18 24 29 32 35 and 38 and then what you do for this part here you will always have a first place value so here first to the fourth then you jump plus one so that's five five to the eight jump to the other one that's nine nine to the fourteenth jump to the other one fifteen to eighteen jump to the other one nineteen to twenty four jump to the other one twenty five to twenty nine jump to the other one 30 to 32 jump to the other one 33 to 35 and then 36 to 38 notice 38 again 38 38 38 corresponding to the number given to you the raw data that you collected that is the cumulative frequency table this this is the first part of ungrouped frequency table so make sure you follow with the next video which is going to give you how to get the measures of central tendency measures of dispersion semi interquartile and the interquartile for you guys to be able to solve everything within statistics i hope this video